<laughs> I'm going to wait for people to come into this one. Tell people to come to another one. I'm live, so yeah. My new live video. Hi, people that are going to watch the replay on this. My computer's freaking out. So I'm on my phone. Yeah, phone. So, yeah. Big technical issues. My computer, like, freaked out. Hi, I know. So, yeah, my computer is still doing crazy things right now. I'm, like, looking at it. So, I'm on my phone. I was going to leave you guys hanging. Um, and I was, like, watching this thing. And I was, like, spinny wheel. Like, you know, the colorful spinny wheel that Max do. And I'm, like, okay. Not happening. I'm going live on my phone. So, here I am. I'm going to wait and hope um if you saw the other window open um i know my mother-in-law was um telling people to come over to this video <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna wait a few seconds to let that happen i apologize um and i'm still staring at my computer freaking out <laughs> not gonna let that get me down no i'm not hi maddie J. um the chat on my phone goes by really quick though so i can't like see it that well but I will really try to keep up with it. <laughs> if I miss something, definitely repeat it, you know, um, because so I will see it. That's awesome. So last two weeks, we have not gone live, not because of this computer issue, but because we were visiting family. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Yeah, so we were in Cincinnati. Um, little Tiberius had to see his grandpapa, Pappy. So, um, you know, they live different states and we had a visit um and we left really early on saturdays so we didn't go live the first friday and the next friday we were in cincinnati but i'm here um so fall <laughs> yes i'm gonna do a little haul video and this isn't stuff that i just bought and i know i've discussed this me and jay have talked about this how we do buy out a season especially when it's a really good steal you know and i know that some people don't want to buy out a season you know I bought Uggs in the very very beginning of um, summer yay hello I'm in Cincinnati right now babysitting see I was there I love it there I might like it a little too much <laughs> yeah so um, we do buy out a season when it's a really good deal and sometimes I list out a season you know um, I, I prefer to tackle what's relevant you know when it's really hot out i'm obviously listing like warm weather stuff um you know current stuff but when i start running low on stuff i will pull from the seasonal bin so i have brought up my seasonal bin some of the stuff i probably already forgot that's in there there is something in there that i got for two dollars and i'm very excited about because i bought it off season <laughs> Oh, you paused Trashy Reality TV for fall. Yes. Ah, oh, nothing like some Trashy Reality TV. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, because I was having such technical difficulties, I usually have like my clothes and stuff all like piled up. Um, it's just next to me. <laughs> yeah. Love buying Christmas sweaters in the summer. Yeah, because no one's looking for them, right? Nobody is looking for those ugly Christmas sweaters. No one's looking for Halloween stuff. And, and you find it, I find it, like, more plentiful and marked down more, you know? Oh, I also have this issue when I'm on my phone. I'm not, I, I have a hard time looking at the camera lens. I apologize if I look like I'm staring off somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to do the shoes first since I'm not, like, so set up. So, um, yeah, something I wasn't going to list in June <laughs> or July, boots. Chambu. <laughs> I, you know me and my pronunciations. I do not pronounce right. Um, these are really good boots. I own a pair, um, especially being in the Northeast. They are so good. These are in really good condition. They're a little small, size seven. That's still a smaller, but on the average size, very good condition. I got them for a couple bucks because nobody was buying boots when I was buying boots. <laughs> so I forgot about these until I just found them again. Um, the next ones, I didn't forget about because I was excited about it. Um, ooh. Dun, dun, dun. 
I saw a lot of kids chombo boots chombo in this in season. Yeah, in season. I mean, you know, um, bathing suits out of season. People go on cruises and stuff like that. But who's gonna buy winter boots in like June? <laughs> Unless they're going to like Antarctica or something like that. Who does that? Okay, so I got these at a consignment shop. Um, Uggs. Not like the most popular style of Uggs, but they're still Uggs in really good condition. Um, and they were, um, originally she had marked them for $64.66. It was a consignment store. But they were on the $5 rack. <laughs> they were definitely on the $5 rack. And they are itchy because they are wool. Um... I'm allergic to wool. Yeah, no, these are real. They do, oh my goodness, I'm like, or look, I'm already turning red. <laughs> this is no joke. Um, but these are a size, I just had it. Oh, it's on the consignment tag. Size seven. I'm getting a lot of size seven. I just changed all my bathing suit cover-ups to include cruise wear in the description. Those are really good words to add to like out of season stuff. Definitely. Um, you know, where I have stuff that I kind of said, great for weddings, like certain shoes and stuff. I'm saying like, great for New Year's. <laughs> you know, adding those things to the description cannot hurt. <laughs> Another one, these aren't as good, but they are definitely, they were two bucks, bear paw. Um, very similar to Uggs, um, a little bit lower price range, but I still have bear paws um, and I'm sure they will sell because no one was looking for bear paws when I was looking for bear paws. Let me see. Tell me these are a size seven again. They're a size seven again. Oh my goodness, I must have just found a bunch of size sevens. How long have I been reselling? I have been reselling since about 20, the end of 2014. Yeah, um, I started Poshmark in 2013, but it was not like so much me like trying to be a business. I was just like, I need clothes, sell my clothes take that money and buy more clothes, you know? Um, and then it kind of became like, wow, this is a thing. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of evolved. <laughs> I'm just starting. Oh, Carlo, it, keep watching, keep learning. Jay is in the living room with the baby. <laughs> Baby's teething right now. He has two little teeth. And so he's a very good baby, but occasionally he gets cranky. These are the last pair of shoes I have. I just photographed them, so they are going to be listed in my Poshmark closet in the next 24 hours. Because these are very fall like boots. They're Jessica Simpson, they're nothing like crazy crazy, but look how cool they are. They're like a moto boot, suede. Yeah, um, and these are not a size seven. These are a size eight and a half. I know that because I just, yeah, they are cute. They are an eight and a half. Um, they're meant to be, you know, the distressed look with the little, cool, right? Yeah, so I, I literally earlier, like maybe like two hours ago, just photographed them. Like they still have my um, boot stuffer. It's like a blow up stuffer that you can kind of like, yeah. So that's how like <laughs> just photograph that is. All right, so now I'm opening the bin that yeah <laughs> the bin i'm gonna save that one for last finally caught another live so yay mike <laughs> awesome how do i pack my boots okay so these kind of boots are a pain in the booty um <laughs> sometimes it's a frankenstein box but i usually do hoard longer amazon boxes whenever i see any box that might fit anything like this I will um if sometimes if I have to you know obviously it wouldn't have the stuffer in it but I would um put tissue paper around it and if I absolutely have to I will bend the shaft you know kind of like fold it as long as I know it's not gonna like ruin the boot um and sometimes it's hard if you don't have the original box um but occasionally you do have the box and I literally wrap the box in brown paper Yes, the game boxes are good. Um, I have actually run into the problem of it not being wide enough for like the width of the boot, but you can alter the width of a game box. It's, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> oh, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, the game boxes are technically like a large flat rate, 
but they're good for the length. They definitely are. Okay, so this is a extremely itchy. One thing I hate about the winter and the fall, the wool. <laughs> so I do it quick. It's like a poncho. Free people. Ooh, that's backwards. Just free people. Cindy, thank you so much. Oh my God, I don't even know what I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> free people for everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good for fall too, you know, because it has like the no sleeves. So, yes. oh my goodness, that's itchy. What else is in this box? Can you use regional A and B boxes? Yes, yes you can. I like regional A boxes for summertime shoes, like non-heels. Um, they usually fit very snugly where you don't need all this fluff. I mean, some people don't even put the fluff, you know, um, some people let it like rattle around. Um, but the A boxes, you know, if it's like a flip flop or a smaller shoe, if they, for me, they fit nice and snugly. So you don't even need to use extras. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. <laughs> It's like all coming back to me. <laughs> this is a um, moth by anthropology. Now moth usually doesn't do crazy for me. Um, it's like, I don't know, anthropology. Hi Robin. But it's like, look at all the beads. That's kind of cool. Oh, I wish my, oh, there, there is better. That's better color. It's kind of cool, you know? I forgot I had that one. See, this is like a new haul for you guys. And it's like me remembering what I put in there. <laughs> this one was also purchased at the consignment store. It was originally marked $16.99. I got this for two bucks. It's a Madewell. Now, I had gotten two of them. I had gotten this. It's like a long sleeve button up. It's women's, you know, Madewell. Um, and the other one I had was a light wash like chambray but it had the same like button up style with the two pockets um but it was a little lighter than this so i was like okay that was one that i listed out of season so i'm like it's made well it's a listing and it might sell well it didn't it had all these likes and last week right when i came off of vacation mode i relisted it and it sold it's already out the door so <laughs> relisting works <laughs> but i did relist it when it was more relevant so Made well. Hopefully this one will have as good as look. Ooh, another made well. It's little. It's like three quarter sleeves. It's definitely like a sweater, but it's almost like a thermal sweater. It's got like that little. Oh man, if I was this little, <laughs> little, you know, this won't get me like all that much money. But considering I bought it out of season, I didn't pay a lot for it. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. So this was also purchased at the uh, consignment store. They had it listed at $34.98. It was on the five and under wrap. It's Lacoste. Now, Jay does really, really well with Lacoste. I mean, I, they make a lot of polos and men's stuff. Um, you know, I have sold Lacoste dress, dresses. I can speak. There's my camera, Lacoste. They have weird sizing. You can look up a size chart. Um, and it's different for the men. Like the men, I think, go from like one to six, but this is a 12. But look, it's, it's hard to tell, but you can see the alligator, like their logo. In, oh my god, this is so itchy. It's wool. You guys can see that? Oh, that's a good lighting on it. The gator. <laughs> it's that guy. So I was like, okay. You know, that's kind of like subtle, but you know that's like Lacoste. Oh, hi, Jody. Yes, we've been doing very well, and I apologize for not going live two weeks in a row. And I apologize for my tardiness. But yeah, Lacoste cost ding, ding. what else have I forgotten about in this bin Ugh. oh free people I kind of knew it like the moment I picked it up <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> it's we the free um it is free people it's one of their many lines they have like different ones not just free people but it is a drippy type of thermal 
These usually do very well for me if priced accordingly. I have many of these type of thermals. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's not like the cuff thermals, but it's one of the kind of oversized ones. <laughs> Let me back up a bit. I'll list that now. <laughs> oh, my pile is about to go overboard. <laughs> you guys are waiting for my $2 find, right? <laughs> that one I didn't forget about. Speaking of the devil and other free people, see, that's like the regular one. That's not like we the free. $2 free people and mother jeans. Oh my goodness, I found mother jeans that cheap once. That's like, wow. And you're like, that's the kind of score where you go up to the cash register and you're like, play it cool. Play it cool. Don't let them see how excited you are that you just found mother jeans for $2. You're trying to do that poker face thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> like, don't, don't overexcite. <laughs> so this is a free people. Ugh, what size is this? This is a small, but a lot of free people is either perfectly fitted or like over over like big oversized it's a knit sweater with a hood with yeah like a kangaroo pocket it has it looks like a sweatshirt like the way it's like designed with the kangaroo and stuff like that but it's definitely like knit yeah forgot about that one too stash is this much free people right can't reach I found this at the bins and at first I was like oh okay that's cute I almost kept it for myself <laughs> wow that's really good seven dollars and you made 85 seven dollars and 85 I mean come on we the free is humongous fitting yeah um you know like I think they're different lines the free people itself they have it all over the board they have like ones that are so fitted and like, but then they have really oversized ones. But We The Free usually is very flowing and free. Um, like sometimes they're small or extra small. Seems like, dude, this could be a large. Um, I own a We The Free um, tunic and I'm a large in free people. Shocker. Um, <laughs> but I actually have to wear a medium in that and I'm like oh, I'm a medium <laughs> I'm so excited but yeah I got this one at the bins it's just banana republic you know when you're buying at the bins I think I got it for a couple of cents but it's cute it's got like a cowl neck type thing and it has like a little kangaroo pocket <laughs> Remember the three stars and they're extra small, but worth so worth it at the bins. Yes, yes. So that is the not just Banana Republic. It's like the factory. How do they call it factory or do they call it outlet? That one. <laughs> the factory slash outlet. I know some stores call it the outlet and some call it a factory. Like why a factory? You think I think like machines running all the time. <laughs> But I probably paid like pennies for it because, you know, we go and we load it up as much as we can. I just like the style of it. Oh, battery mode. Ooh, that's never a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I kind of liked it. I might actually still keep it for myself. Has becoming a mom changed the way you run your business and management much? Yes 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 and you know there was so much like mental contemplation about this before baby you know while i was pregnant and you think you have an idea you know and you know that okay the baby has to be fed and changed and like cuddled and all this stuff but you know definitely i i it comes to a point where, you know, we've learned that nap time is work time. <laughs> that the moment he goes, do, 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 me and Jay, we're like, hustle. Uh, and he, he, we know what we need to do for the day. And then just some days don't work out. So, oh, big news. Um, I am now another aunt auntie to another baby <laughs> yeah so very early this morning like 5 30 something this morning um jay's brother and sister our sister-in-law had a second child 
yay, I know, exciting, right? Um, so we went up there to like, you know, today it was like, oh, time to get work done. And you know, we had our schedule, but you, you can't plan on stuff. Like we knew the baby was coming at some point, but you know, that's one great thing about what we do. You know, sometimes I complain, I'm like, oh, I should have done this, this and that. But hey, you know, it's not like a job where I had to like call into a boss and be like, hey, I gotta go to a hospital and they might say yes or no. We just went to the hospital. So, that, you know, it's, it's kind of nice like that, that we could just go. <laughs> um, but it did kind of uh, take up some of my photo time, which is fine, you know, family. <laughs> so cute and we bought Tiberius and Ty is now um six six and a half months and I'm looking at the baby and when we were there they still hadn't named it yet they did name him um and I'm looking at I'm holding Ty and I'm like dude you used to be like that small <laughs> like it's crazy how big I, I, like he's gotten <laughs> but yeah yay I'm an auntie Yes, they, sometimes like when people do it like three in a row, I, I it goes away. I do see emojis because the emojis expand um, the box a little bit, if that makes sense. It makes it like wider. See, it makes it go from there to like me. And I have my contacts in too. Another Madewell sweater. Small, 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 extra small. Oh, this is cute. It's like a cardigan. See, I call them, and this is gonna really age me right here. I call them Mr. Rogers cardigans. <laughs> the kind that like button up, you know, I think they're called like boyfriend cardigans or some, I, you know, that's like the term. <laughs> White House Black Market makes some nice stuff. I've come to realize I don't find much of it though. You know, um, I, I come across it occasionally. I did just find a pair of White House Black Market jeans, which, didn't kind of flow with what I think of the stuff that I see from my house black market. They're like embroidered and distressed to heck. Like they're really like really boho. And I was like, dude, that's still my house black market. <laughs> like, okay, so I got them. But yeah, the Mr. Rogers <laughs> cardigan. These, are, I, you know, I like these kind because it's like you get a little chilly, you just go <laughs> good to go. Forgot about that one. I got a lot of free people in Madewell. And I stashed it up. All right. Wow, jeans ended up here. One pair of jeans ended up in here. Oh, because they're really dark. This is kind of like bread and butter, though. This isn't like crazy. No $4 mother jeans in this little bin right here. I do pretty well at White House Black Market. New label items. Yeah, they do kind of seem like they're, because they are kind of fast, fast fashion. You know, it's kind of like a couple seasons gone by, people aren't really interested in it. Um, but these are cut from the cloth. Ew. Hello, phone. Um, Chrissy Flair. Um, I have listed, I, I've sold jeans in the summertime. I don't sell them as much. I've been selling so many jeans now because people are like in this fall idea, you know? while we're doing this um but yeah this is dark wash so i think that's why it ended up in the bin <laughs> um and these aren't crazy expensive jeans i usually get like anywhere between 20 and 35 dollars for my cut from the cloth um i they do in my opinion go better like faster when they're in the double digits like 12s 14s 16s those I actually own a pair of cut from the cloth and they're really comfortable. Carlo's doing way better on eBay than Poshmark. So Poshmark does take a little time to gain momentum. You know, you just gotta be consistent list. You gotta do stuff on Poshmark to get stuff from Poshmark. My mother started selling on Poshmark. My mother made her first sale. That's right, mama. Made her very first sale. Um, she sold a pair of um, Michael Kors wedges. Okay, the summer slowdown has got me so down. Oh, I think she said she's in a funk and needs to get motivated to list. One thing that should motivate you, the money, you know. So, summer slowdown, some people are like, oh, it slows down so much. For me, it's like the price per piece goes down because you can't get as much for a like, you know, sweater as you can for like a tank top. 
so, you know, I get it, you know, sales are slower, but guess what's going to happen? All of a sudden, people aren't going to be out at pools anymore and at parties, and they're going to start buying all this stuff online anymore. And if your stuff's not listed, what are they going to buy? You can't sew cut from the cloth for your life. <laughs> I had a sub last week of sales, but crickets this week. Only two lower price items. It's a downer. And, and I get that that can really... You know, like the, our eBay has been like that. Our eBay has either been like, like crazy, and then like crickets. Like it's really like, I don't know. It is like up and down, like a roller coaster. Um, Poshmark is more steady for us. I don't know why, but even that's going to even out. You know, um, when we get more towards cold weather, all this stuff. You know, if you are so, oh, it's slow, I'm not gonna list this stuff. You know, it's like, what are they gonna buy when people are actually like buying stuff? You know, they're gonna go to someone else's store because you haven't listed and then you're sitting on money. You know, like that's why I pulled this out. I'm like, oh, it's time to list this special bin. <laughs> you know, it's time to list it. Snow is coming in like a month. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Canada. Yes, okay, yeah, I was like in a month, I'm still in a tank top. <laughs> That's right, oh wow, in a month. Hey, if you know anybody that needs some, <laughs> send them my way, <laughs> right? Or, that's good for snow. <laughs> All right, so, oh. This is Athleta. It's a jacket though. Usually the October, sometimes snow once in September, melts within the day. Oh wow, that's early snow. Yeah, Athleta, it is a, it's a like a wool jacket that's completely lined, but that has like a puffer hoodie. So it's, I've never sold an Athleta jacket before, but it, it does, it, it looks, it is warm and the inside's fleece, like that microfiber fleece. Like this part itches me, but this part I'd be like, ah. Um, so I know this is warm. This is great. <laughs> um, but that's also why I didn't list it in June. <laughs> Who would have bought it? You didn't like your thread up? Was it a rescue box or did you actually um, pick out what you wanted? I got my last thing that I'm excited about. I'm a $2 fine. That was Ty, that was Ty squealing. <laughs> he does these noises that, that they say like mimic him, like, and he'll like that. I can't get these noises out of me. It sounds like it's coming from like the back of his like vertebrae, like it's crazy. Like he's like, ee! and I'm like, how do you do that kid? <laughs> I can't sell Athleta, it sits and sits. Um, I have had Athleta sit and sit, and I've had Athleta Boom, out the door. Um, I think it really does depend on style. Um, same thing with Lululemon. Um, you know, I, I and this is a very common thing with Lululemon, like their pants usually do very well, like their leggings and like stuff like that. Um, but their tank tops might sit for a little while longer. So I, it's the, similar with Athleta, you know. Um, but I know that even if that wasn't Athleta, like that's an awesome jacket. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gonna that's a really warm and awesome jacket so this consignment store was listed for $49.82 wow yes you found two of the brands that were in my athleisure video see I'm learning to say that word right yeah so um I'm not selling you're not selling as much on Poshmark oh it went away so quick do you think making videos has helped you sell um maybe but not consistently I know I know I have occasionally sold to a subscriber thank you <laughs> but it's not like um, every week or like very consistently um, and same thing with Instagram too, you know, um, like occasionally and a little bit. And, and sometimes, sometimes I don't even know until like the love note comes in 
or until I like mention something in the like the bundle, you know, so but <laughs> sweaty Betty <laughs> Yes, you remember sweaty Betty <laughs> But yeah, so it's not like I make YouTube videos to get all these sales. No, like yes. Help me help you and like I, I just like I like doing it. I hope you guys like you guys like this video huh? <laughs> Thank you Tiberius <laughs> He's squealing for mama <laughs> but this is the two dollar fine that I knew was in this box like 80 percent of this I forgot was in here <laughs> thank you Jody um but yeah this was marked at 49 dollars and 82 cents it's not crazy but it's for two dollars I got a Burberry it, it's a wool it, it's a cashmere it's cashmere Georgie <laughs> so yeah um and it, since it was at the consignment store pure cashmere I, I don't know how it wouldn't be pure cashmere um, I mean it doesn't have anything crazy but look at this it has like like thumb holes with like let's see little Burberry band but it's subtle it's not you know how Burberry they people really like the Nova check and a lot of the sweaters will have like the the plaid around it this has it on the inside a little, does it have it on the inside no it doesn't even have it on the inside it doesn't have nova check on it but it's cashmere and it's very subtly burberry and it was two bucks two dollars <laughs> and i guess you wear it like that is that that's cool that's cool you know <laughs> like that's cool they make like athletic wear with the little thumb holes but i, I has anyone ever seen a sweater like that it's like a um half mitten yeah Bailey see two dollars nice it's not like it doesn't shout out loud by looking at it that it's Burberry but two bucks <laughs> and cashmere yeah right the name what it is uh, even though it doesn't have like any kind of Nova check on it or any kind of plaid like it's Burberry for two bucks uh, and a listing on posh that's hold on eBay okay so cross-listed anything uh, it's sometimes I get um, I get worried that I will like sell on two platforms but uh, because I'm so worried that one will sell on eBay and then it'll sell on Poshmark vice versa or Mercari um, I'm diligent with it like when I get a sale and you know I, like I list primarily on Poshmark first I sit there and I list on Poshmark and then I'm like okay I will then go and list them on Mercari you know but if it had already sold on Poshmark before I even thought of listing it elsewhere you know that's fine <laughs> thank you Ty he's getting excited um but like I sold a bundle of seven items last week <laughs> right when I came off vacation mode I came off of vacation mode while I was still in Cincinnati because I have three days to ship. Well, now it's three days, you know. Um, and I came off vacation mode and I sold a bundle. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then like a day later, I'm like, something was like irking me about the bundle. And I was like, oh. like, you know, you have to like open the bundle to see all seven items. You only see like one or two in like the original thing. You have to hit see more. <laughs> the very last thing was on eBay and Mercari. And I was like, oh, <laughs> take it off, take it off. Um, but yeah usually I'm very diligent with that some people um, will actually have a like a keyword or like a number or a letter in it telling them that it's cross-listed they won't just say eBay but it'll say like you know part of their inventory number will tell them it's cross-listed sure <laughs> of course all right so that was my two dollar fine and somebody could have had it originally for almost fifty dollars <laughs> Boop. So yeah, that you know, I could probably tackle that pile in like an hour with the baby. <laughs> but yeah, the baby uh, wrangling has kind of changed things. It definitely has. I've kind of gone back to like batching like crazy because I have to now. You know, like <laughs> I usually do just try to like take all my photos in a day or two and then just list 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 throughout the week depending on how many items I have you know um but now the baby it's like gotta get it done gotta get it done he's sleeping or he's in his bouncer or he's really passive oh I can get three photos done while he's doing this or 
you know, oh, grandma came over. He's on grandma's lap. Let me go take as many photos as I can until like the gravy train runs out. <laughs> but I'm getting used to it. Oh, no tax weekend. So, um, when I was in Cincinnati, um, this lady, I had sent an offer out, you know, offers to Lakers before we left and I wasn't on vacation mode and she had messaged me in the bundle and she was like, it, like, I guess her state has one day that's no tax. And she's like, it's no tax day. You know, can, can you, you know, come off of vacation mode? Cause she had asked me, is this not for sale anymore? I'm like, no, it says NFS because I'm on vacation mode. Um, and oh, I'll talk about cell phone in a second. Yes. Um, and so she was like, can you come off of vacation mode, accept my offer? And then I don't care when you ship them. And I'm like, okay, it's going to be like a week. <laughs> I made a sale on vacation mode. So it was pretty cool. Uh, when toddler age hits, it changes again. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Cell hound is a, a platform that will, you know, kind of cross post for you. And you can like they pretty much you upload the photos they have you can do it or they could do it you upload the photos and they make the description and you could eBay Mercari I think they even do Etsy um, but yeah um, right now I use Sellhound for comparative shopping like um, comps and stuff like that because that that's cool it's like in one touch in the little dog runs <laughs> I thought I actually met like one of the creators a while back See, this is also another thing. Coffee at this hour. Oh my goodness, I went on live for like almost an hour. On my half dead phone, which I'm very happy that I'm here. So, it's a big thing. It is expensive though. Um, the free version just lets you do comps, you know, um, but it is, I can see it being worth an investment when your business is big enough. Definitely, you know. Um, for smaller sellers or part-time sellers, you know, it, give or take, it, it is a big investment, you know, but as a business, it's also a write-off, but you do need to still invest in it, you know? So, um, but if you have like a humongous eBay store and like your closet's like huge and, and you're, you know, you want to just, you're paying for your time eventually, you know? Because time is money, so you're you're kind of like outsourcing the part and giving yourself more time to get more stuff, and do other avenues of the business. So it, it minimizes the amount of time that you're spending listing on multiple platforms or even just one. You know, um, so a lot of people know, you know, time is money and investment, big or small. <laughs> and, and, you know, so it's like you have to like weigh the odds, but. I might consider it. <laughs> I, I think it's a good idea, you know? 55 of you. Yay. Um, okay, I'm going to end in a couple minutes. Um, if I've missed any questions, I apologize. If I have, do them right now. And I'm going to stare at the little corner until I see them. <laughs> and if I have, I apologize. Or if I haven't answered, or I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you When I'm on the stupid computer over there. Hmm. Wanted to like throw it. Ah, very helpful and less stressing. Good. Who wants stress, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it is definitely different going on my phone. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, computer. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, um, go list, go sell. You're welcome. I'm. Hope you liked this haul video. It is not a new haul video. It's a, kind of like my own mystery box. <laughs> I guess that's exactly what it is. Yeah, everybody have a good night, okay? Bye guys.